Regnum Christi Daily Meditations, a service of the Legionaries of Christ. An R.C. Meditation for October 31st, 2024. Thursday of the 30th week in Ordinary Time. God desires to draw us to Himself. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go and tell that fox, Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow, and on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day, for it is impossible that a prophet should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you, how many times I yearned to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, but you were unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Petition Lord, I want to be convinced of your personal love for me. First Reflection Persevering in the Mission Jesus encounters opposition on his journey to Jerusalem. Pharisees come to warn him of Herod. Jesus is undeterred. He knows that the Father's will is for him to go to Jerusalem and surrender his life on the cross. He doesn't hide or seek to escape from his Father's will. He knows that the cross lies ahead of him, but he also knows that death and the cross are not the end. Beyond death is the resurrection. On the third day, I accomplish my purpose. Christ's example should give us confidence to move forward in the face of our own difficulties and struggles. We should turn to Him because He knows how to persevere in the mission. And since He wants to be involved in our life, He will accompany us on our journey. He is always with us, ready to give us the help of His grace and the strength of His hand. Second Reflection A Heart Open to Others Jesus wept for Jerusalem. His heart was not closed to others. He was not absorbed in himself or his own problems. He freely offered his life for others. Others rejected him, but he never rejected them. He was not bitter towards those who would make him suffer. He loved, and he never ceases to love. As a hen gathers her brood under her wings, so does God long to draw all men and women to Himself. We need to let God draw us to Himself. Third Reflection Pray for those who persecute you. Jesus sets an example for us to follow. Our hearts should not be closed. We need to be open to the needs of those around us even those who may attack the church and persecute us. Jesus loved his enemies. He prayed for those who persecuted him. He blessed those who cursed him. He sought only their good, and he sacrificed himself for them. He shows us the way to live an authentically Christian life. To be faithful to him, we need to reach out in love, even to those people who don't think and act like us. Conversation with Christ Lord, help me to follow your inspirations always. Often there is good that I want to do, but I hesitate and draw back. Help me to keep giving even when I'm tired and worn out. Teach me that you are always with me and that I am never alone. Resolution. I will be open to what a family member or colleague at work might need, and I will seek to offer my help. 
For more resources, visit regnumchristi.org or download the Regnum Christi English app today.